Education is free of charge and compulsory from the age of 6 or 7 to 16 years, as stated in the National Law on Education. In 1996, the gross primary enrollment rate was 98%. Primary school attendance rates were unavailable for Lithuania as of 2001. While enrollments rates indicate a level of commitment to education, they do not always reflect children's participation in school. Pre-tertiary education is organized in four main cycles. Preschool education, pre-primary education, primary education, basic education, upper secondary education. Upper secondary education ends on the matura examination, opening gates to tertiary education. Vocational and technical education starts at the fifth year of basic education. Its structure is similar to comprehensive education. The program lasts two to three years before the basic education certificate. Students can then pursue into vocational upper secondary education. That also leads, after two or three years, to a matura examination. However, in order to reach tertiary education, vocational students have to follow an extra post-secondary education program of two years. Tertiary education can be divided into university and college. Universities offer an academic education leading to international bachelor master PhD degrees. Colleges offer vocational education. Since 2006, they can award professional bachelor degrees. The school year in Lithuania usually starts on 1 September, including in tertiary education, preschool and pre-primary education. Preschool education under the preschool education program is provided to children from 1 to 6 years old. Institutional preschool education is not compulsory and is provided upon parents' request. This kind of education can be compulsory in individual cases. Preschool education is provided by public and private nurseries, kindergartens, kindergartens, and kindergarten schools. Pre-primary education is provided for one year. Education is provided to six-year-old children and is intended to better prepare children for school entry. Education is free, universally available, but is not compulsory. Parents have the right to decide whether their six-year-old child should be educated under the pre-primary education program or not. Pre-primary education groups are established in kindergartens or schools. In remote villages, municipalities can establish such groups in community multifunctional centers or children can be brought by school buses free of charge to the nearest school where such group has been established. The following flexible pre-primary group models are offered to municipalities. Groups working a few days per week, at weekends, or during school holidays, groups of a camp type, etc. Children attending pre-primary groups learn new skills which will be useful in school, to interact with age mates and stranger adults and orient themselves in a new environment. The following competencies are mostly developed through games, social, health protection, world recognition, and artistic. If a child is educated at home, his, her parents are informed about pre-primary education novelties and consulted on important child's education issues. Upon parents' request, children can be provided with special pedagogic and psychological assistance. Primary education. According to the law on education, children who have reached seven years of age must go to the first form, if parents wish so and if the child is sufficiently mature to study under the primary education program. He, she can start attending school from six years of age. The duration of the primary education program is four years. Compulsory primary education can be obtained in kindergarten schools, in primary schools and, which is less common, in basic or secondary schools. Parents and children can also choose non-traditional education schools or individual classes, groups in municipal schools. Montessori, Waldorf, Suzuki pedagogical systems can be chosen in Lithuania. Achievements and progress of 1-4 form pupils is not assessed with marks. 
assessment is based on the ideographic principle, i.e., individual child's progress made with regard to his, her personality is assessed and a criteria referenced assessment is applied. Pupils are provided with assessment information orally or in form of a short description of their particular achievements. In the end of the trimester, semester or academic year, a summarized assessment is carried out by indicating the educational level achieved. Children who attend schools for national minorities start learning Lithuanian from the first form. Most primary school pupils start learning the first foreign language in the second form. Secondary education. Foundation education upon completion of primary education. Pupils start studying under the six-year basic education program. The foundation education program is implemented by foundation, secondary and vocational schools and gymnasiums. The compulsory foundation education program consists of two parts. Part 1, a four-year program implemented in the five-eighth forms and Part 2, a two-year program implemented in the nine-tenth forms. Pupils can start learning the second foreign language in the fifth form and in the sixth form the second foreign language is compulsory. Pupils who study under the Foundation Education Program are to be encouraged to be engaged in various social activities, e.g., volunteering, organizing events, raising funds for charity. In Form 10, pupils are able to choose subject modules and study optional subjects following their bent and abilities. Foreign pupils who can't speak Lithuanian but wish to study in Lithuanian schools have the option to study for one extra year during which they have integration activities and language lessons. In Lithuania, education is compulsory for children under 16. Compulsory education is usually provided up to the 10th form. Upon completion of the 10th form pupils can choose to undergo an assessment of foundation education test. During these examinations, two to three subject skills are assessed. Lithuanian language, mathematics and native language if it is not Lithuanian. After passing the exams, pupils can choose to study in a secondary school that focuses on academics or undergo vocational training. Grading system in Lithuania Usual grading system at secondary school level is 10-point scale. Secondary education is not compulsory and is usually provided for two years. Pupils study according to individual education plans. The program can include modules of the vocational training program. Secondary education is provided in secondary schools, gymnasiums, and vocational schools. Pupils can also choose education which mostly corresponds to their values, world outlook, religious beliefs, and philosophical views. Such education is provided in non-traditional education schools. Non-traditional education schools may operate according to their own programs, but the total number of subjects and the total number of hours allocated for each subject in Forms 1 to 12 can differ from the numbers specified in the state general education plans by not more than 25%. Maturity examinations in spring. Upon completion of the secondary education program, school leavers take maturity examinations. Mature examinations may be of two types, i.e., school leaver or national leaver. To be awarded a maturity certificate, two maturity examinations must be passed, a compulsory exam in Lithuanian and one more optional exam. School leavers who wish to enter higher education schools and receive state funding must pass at least three maturity examinations. In total, six maturity exams may be taken. State examinations are conducted centrally. Pupils of the graduation forms are registered in the database of the National Examination Center. Examinations are taken in municipal examinations centers. Examination papers are encoded and sent to the National Examination Center where they are assessed by hired experts. Having completed the secondary education program and passed maturity examinations, school leavers obtain secondary education.
secondary and higher education obtained in other countries is assessed by the Lithuanian Center for Quality Assessment in Higher Education. Financing education of pupils in general education schools is financed through a state budget target grant under the principle of the pupils' voucher. Every year, the state allocates, by taking into account the number of pupils, a special target grant to municipalities. The pupils' voucher is allocated both for public and private schools. When moving to another school, a pupil takes his voucher with him. The pupil's voucher includes money for teachers' salaries, improvement of teachers' skills, textbooks, instructional aids, special psychological aid, cognitive activities of pupils, professional guidance, modules of professional artistic education programs, administration, execution, assessment of maturity examinations, etc. Utility expenses of private schools are covered by their stakeholders. Funds for schools of traditional religious communities are allocated by the state under the agreement between the Republic of Lithuania and the Holy C. Non-formal education. After classes, pupils can choose various leisure activities provided in schools free of charge or attend separate sports, music, fine arts, art, aviation, and choreography schools, and children's clubs. The latter activities are partially paid. Professional artists, sportsmen, and teachers work with children. In schools, pupils can be excused from attending weekly classes in arts and physical training. If they have graduated from schools of art or study fine arts, choreography, or music in schools of art or non-formal education establishments specializing in sports, the long-term artistic education program completed in children's music, art, and sports schools or any other school can be recognized as a vocational education module. Special education Special education is provided in preschool education establishments and general education schools of all types. If needed, general education programs can be adapted taking into account pupils' special education needs. Free assistance of special pedagogues, speech therapists, psychologists, and other specialists can be provided to pupils in schools as well as to parents and teachers in other institutions. A child's need for special education is determined by a municipal pedagogical psychological unit or by a school special education commission. Vocational training and lifelong learning. Vocational training The vocational education system covers initial and continuing vocational education and training. Initial vocational education and training can start at the age 14. The duration of the first programs can be either two or three years depending on the level of the audience. The duration of studies for students who have already obtained secondary education is 1 to 1.5 years. It grants a certificate of basic education. The student can then pursue into vocational upper secondary education that also lasts two or three years and ends on a maturer examination. In order to join tertiary education, vocational students have to follow an extra post-secondary education program. The training program consists of two parts. The first part is common to all schools in the country and defines fields of professional activities, competencies, teaching goals, and assessment provisions. The second part is optional and covers teaching methods, subject programs, teaching aids, etc. The program must include the subjects or modules of entrepreneurship, civil protection, ecology, information technologies, and foreign language for specific purposes. 60 to 70 percent of the total time allocated to vocational subjects should be devoted to practical training. Usually, practical training is conducted at the school or in a company. Training can also be performed under exchange programs. Initial vocational training is financed through the state budget. Vocational training providers receive financing by applying the methodology of the pupil's voucher, i.e., calculation of teaching funds per pupil. The same principle is applied when allocating utility funds. Most of vocational school pupils receive grants. 
Continuing education is usually conducted through the funds of companies, institutions, the employment fund, other funds, or personal funds of pupils. Requirements for vocational training programs are set out by the general requirements and standards for vocational training of the Ministry of Education and Science. Vocational training programs are developed by vocational training providers in cooperation with employers. Continuing vocational education and training targets learners older than 18. It consists of programs, usually short, mainly dedicated to practical training. They can lead to a vocational qualification, to an additional vocational qualification, or to a competence to perform jobs or functions regulated by law. Adult education Once students have reached 18 years of age, they are offered a variety of opportunities for further education. It is possible to continue one's education in general education schools and centers for adults by taking various courses or just using the internet, reading books, or being interested in special literature. Adults can obtain primary, basic or secondary education in adult schools, education centers, and general education schools with forms established for adults. General education of adults is organized by approx. 60 institutions in all municipalities of the country, which number about 12,000 adults. These schools also provide non-formal adult education services. The scope and subjects of study programs for adults are adapted according to their needs. Adults who study under general education and non-formal education programs can choose a flexible learning form that is most suitable for them. Modular education, independent education, extramural education, or distance education. These forms allow adults choosing suitable time for their studies in a study program, as well as planning their learning process on their own. The modular learning method creates opportunities to study single subjects and complete the selected education program within acceptable time, frames as well as study for the purposes of self-education. Extramural students arrive to the adult school only for consultations and to take credit tests. Part of consultations under the correspondence and individual programs can be provided distantly. By communicating with teachers with the help of information communication technologies, internet sites, email, or internet telephony programs, adults study not only in order to obtain formal education, but also for self-expression, improvement of their skills or communication with other people. On non-formal adult education courses and seminars adults tend mostly like to study foreign languages, basics of law and business, psychology, computer literacy as well as arts, literature, and philosophy. Improvement of competencies in citizenship, traffic safety, and career management is also important. Non-formal adult education is organized by a prox. 700 public and private institutions. Adult learning also takes place in the workplace and is organized by the employers taking into account their business demands. Improvement of teachers' skills during an academic year. Teachers shall allocate five days for improvement of their skills. Every municipality has a teacher education center in which teachers can improve their qualification. These services are also provided by various private institutions. There is a system implemented for the appraisal of teachers. The regulations of the appraisal of teachers specify four teacher qualification categories. Teacher, senior teacher, teacher supervisor, and teacher expert. Teachers or specialists in assisting the student can undergo appraisal at their own choice and in accordance with the procedure established in the regulations and pursue acquisition of any qualification category in one or several subjects. Since 2010, students who enter pedagogical studies shall take a motivation test. The motivation test allows selecting the mostly motivated students. Future pedagogues with the best achievements receive an incentive, an additional target grant.